This air fryer has some sweet features, make healthy food taste great. Let's get into it. How you guys doing? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. In this edition of the video, we have ourselves an air fryer right here. We're gonna be taking through all the test runs. We are gonna be doing asparagus. We are gonna be doing some healthy options. Cause let me be frank with you, sometimes just steaming vegetables doesn't taste very good. I eat very healthy six days a week with one cheat day. And this is gonna be for the Kaibal Air Fryer. Just like all my unboxing and review videos in the description box below the video, you're gonna find the link for this exact same air fryer. You can read more about it, pick one up yourself, see what other people are talking about it. It's gonna be in the description box below. All right, they're giving us a little big, nice little guide here. Easy steps to a healthy diet. That's really cool. A little recipe book here, warranty information, and your user manual in here. Let's get this guy on out of here. Okay, we have a little plastic protector right on the top. So let's go ahead and remove that as well. And there we have it right there. Now this does have 360 degree high speed circulation to be able to evenly heat it. And with an extra large capacity holder here, and we also have a little pan right in here. Now this right here has a safe coat ceramic scratch resistant coating to it here. Now it has these little slip resistant balls on the end here, or of course it goes all the way to the bottom there for easy cleanup. So you could have whatever you want on top of this, pull that guy out. We'll leave it that up to you. We'll see what the directions say as well. Now that is a clear see-through window here. Sorry for the glare, but as you can see my hand through the little window there, that is a nice feature. Putting that out of the way for a moment, of course, we have a digital display. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the unit here. We'll try not to get the glare on there, but it's a little bit tricky. You have temp and menu, start and stop, time over here. Your fan and grate are on the interior portion right above the drawer. It is a good looking air fryer as well. I've seen a couple other ones before, and this one is a little bit more high tech. It looks very nice right off the bat. And these are touch sensitive controls here. So you can touch those with your fingers. So with this air fryer, you can preheat, reheat, defrost and dehydrate. And they are telling us before we do use it for the first time to take out the fryer basket, wash the fryer basket and crisper plate in warm soapy water or in the dishwasher, then rinse and dry thoroughly. And if you are wondering, the dimensions are gonna be in millimeters there. Capacity is a six liter, input rated power and net weight. Let's put this guy to use. Well guys, what a great success for my first round. I've already eaten about a third of the asparagus bag there. Now what I did here, per directions of the recipe guide here, it's actually very nice. Now these were frozen, so I put them on for a little bit longer of a period of time. I put some parchment paper down, sprinkled some salt on there. You can rub a little olive oil on there if you desire as well. And it's really simple. Once everything is good to go, you shove it on in, you hit the on button here and it starts it out right here. And then it clicks over to the timer here. So you can go back to temperature. It says crank it to 375. And then we go to time here and then we crank it down to about nine. That I believe the recipe for if they are fresh, but we went ahead and cranked it up another four minutes or so. That made them really nice and crispy. Again, add a little bit of olive oil if you want them really nice. Maybe play with around with it, maybe a few more minutes if you want it a little bit extra crispy. I thought 13, 13, 14 minutes, I thought was really good for frozen. If it's fresh, again, go by the guide here. The guide is actually really nice. It talks about different recipes and it also gives you guides for meat. For instance, right here, it talks about pork chops, pork tenderloins. You guys get the idea of beef burgers there. You go ahead and it tells you how to prepare them, toss them in oil, program, temperature, cook time. Again, I'm a very healthy eater. So this is a great way instead of steaming them over here in water, put a little bit of Himalayan sea salt on top of that and just air fry them. I thought they were delicious. We'll go ahead and do a couple more things and show you. And if you did see this down here, this was after I washed it. It still had a little bit of steam in there. And as you use it, obviously that will go ahead and clear out. That's just a little bit of moisture in there. But I do really like the window as we did see, you can actually see in there. And I do like that just in case you are going a little bit overboard you can go ahead and see in there with the light without having to pull it out obviously and stop it 
and check. And if you are wondering, that was asparagus frozen, a whole bag of Trader Joe's asparagus. Again, I ate about a third of it, but there is so much more room in there. Again, a six quart holder. And if you do use parchment paper, it's actually really simple. It just literally rolls right off the paper. And take a look at my basket. That's looking great. Sure, you could wipe that down if you want, but I don't think I need to at all. Didn't even touch the sides. I'll leave that up to you though. I like it. Okay, folks, you're not gonna wanna miss this. It just shut off. I have a piece over here, but let's look at this. Because they were big, thick pieces of frozen chicken, I actually set it 400 for 50 minutes, and I actually flipped it about halfway. And look at what the air fryer has done. Just beautifully crispy on the outside. Parchment paper, all the juices are right there, just sitting in the juices. Let's come over here. Look at this slice of chicken. Let me go ahead and show you inside it. I cut inside of it already. Obviously making sure it's completely cooked through. Look at how beautiful that chicken is with the golden outside. Woo, I can't wait to eat some of this. Mm, 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 mm. Very delightful. The crispiness on the outside is like having healthy fried chicken. I just need a little bit of salt on this and this is dynamite. Well done, air fryer. Here's the second piece and this was even thicker. And look at the juiciness of that cooked entirely through. Ah, just again, just crispy on the outside. That was a great piece of chicken. I put a little bit of Himalayan sea salt on there, a little bit of chipotle sauce. That was dynamite. I am hooked on air frying, that's for sure. Real simple cleanup again with the parchment paper. Go ahead and lift that out, throw that away. Go ahead and lightly sponge up a little bit on the outside if anything is touched. But I was pretty careful not to have it touched. But since that is chicken, probably don't want any cross-contamination. So I'll probably just wash this out with some soap and water and we'll let it air dry. So we just have the basket underneath there air drying there. But I want to go ahead and show you the unit now with the drawer pulled out here. Here's in my chicken. Cooling off before I do shove it in the refrigerator here. So here is the footprint compared to here is my Keurig 2.0. This, I'm not exactly sure what model it is here. And there's my toaster. And then here is a unit here. It does say that you need at least 10 centimeters behind it for airflow and above it. So you don't want this right up against the wall. So just pull it out if you're on a shelf like this. Or in my case, I don't have too much real estate room on my countertops. So what I'm gonna probably have to do is put it out in the pantry and then use it when you're ready to use it and then put it back. But if you have the real estate, like in most of these modern kitchens, they have much more larger countertop space than I have. Of course, I could probably get rid of that coffee maker. I already have one right there. And that again is 10 centimeters above or behind it. That equals 3.9 inches above or behind it. So let's go ahead and get a side view here as you don't want this blocked. This is where your air comes out of right here. Not to mention it makes your kitchen smell very nice, especially after cooking up some meats. So again, that's your ventilation right there. All right, so we're gonna be reheating my chicken dinner that we saw the other night with some long grain rice in there that is already cooked. So instead of using a microwave, I'm using my air fryer, of course. We have it on 340 and we're gonna be doing it for about five minutes. And we're just looking at the directions here for the reheat option. So we're gonna see if that does it. If not, I'll go ahead and put it on for a little bit longer, but we'll be back with you. Well, here we go right here. I just actually put it back in for a few more minutes. I like my food nice and piping hot here. I got my nice chipotle sauce right here. I'm gonna put a, probably a little dash of Himalayan salt on top. I'm hooked on this air fryer though, I'll tell you what. This food is looking really good. I'm back with you already. That puts a nice texture on the rice. I'm very, very impressed. Well, I've been really enjoying the air fryer. It did a great job with my rice again last night and my chicken just to reheat that as well. After using it, I think it's a great machine. The only con that I do see with the air fryer is because the trap window here has some ventilation right here. It actually sometimes gets a little bit of water in there. So unfortunately, because my water is really hard water here in California, you see some kind of some water streaks and that actually is dried on the inside of this here. Not that big of a deal, but it's just something that I do have to state that if you do wash it, definitely put it this direction here and make sure it's fully dried, nice and air dry there. But overall, I've been really enjoying it, really loving the results, guys. Again, in the description box below the video is gonna be the exact same link 
for this air fryer. See what other people are saying about it. Pick one up yourself. Hit that thumbs up button if it has given you an informed decision. But please, just like all my videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you have the cash and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase that on away. Hit that subscribe on your way out. Check out those links below. We'll see you on the next one. My name's Chris. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.